Today we're going to carve a little wood spirit in a stick, but uh, first things first, let's go find a stick. Talk sticks. Old uh, basswood stick, which is a beautiful piece of wood. This is dry as anything. It's still great to carve. So we won't do that because that's not fair. But we got a piece of uh, trembling aspen or poplar and birch. Last night I carved uh, this fella in the aspen and they worked out good. So I'm going to stick with the aspen. Birch is pretty much the same, but uh, I like the darker bark, for, especially for the video. So we're going to carve this guy here. But any fruit wood or stick you can find, probably the less grainy the better. But uh, first thing we're going to do is look at the, the wood. We're going to try not to carve into knots or anything. But uh, I can see this piece has a little bit of a bow in it. And I would really like it to sit with the face and the bow. So we may run into something here. But uh, anyway, let's just get at it. It's going to take some bark off get going here I should have showed you the other one too this is a this is a pine one over here that's a dry pine branch I did on a fishing trip and that worked out really well too so don't get too fussy about your wood just make sure it's not oak or something super grainy not granny grainy and all I'm doing is uh, taking some bark off this will be adjusted probably many times but uh, just to get some a feel for it, it's pretty pretty white. I may adjust my camera again, but now you can see what I want to do here is just making a little uh, little pointed area here. You can see a little. Not where I want the the nose really. We're gonna use a bunch of different tools today. We're not going to stick with the uh, just the knife. We're going to add a, a gouge or two, or a V tool. But, all right, can you see that? This is I, I can tell this is hard to see, so I'm going to uh, try and get some shadow on my camera. But so we remove some bark, and right off the bat, let's just get that gouge in there. All right. We removed some bark and brought our, uh, not a sharp point, just a little bit of a point. Let me play with this camera for a minute. Let's try that. Maybe it's a little bit better. You can see I got a little bit of a, little bit of a point there. So let's just take our gouge. Mark the, the bottom of the nose, all right? Now, we can, we can make it whatever we want. We're not going to measure a thing. Every stick is different. But if that's the bottom of the nose, say, all right? Let's make the uh, the eye line right about here, okay? And that's more the the brow ridge. I'm just gonna run my my gouge across here once, like that. Yeah. Right. Then I'm gonna determine how wide my nose is, and we're gonna go wide because we can make it smaller, but we can't make it bigger, okay? And this is just gonna be uh, something we're gonna go over a few times. It's going up into that little eye gouge and now we're just going to go in 
and over. In and over. So we've only gone over the top of the nose the one time, right? See that? And there's our, our rough eye sockets, okay? And we can't go deep enough. Deep is your friend. And there's a little bit of a knot in there already, see that? That'll add some character in our little carving here, but I always like to uh, soften the, the brow ridge with my knife a little bit. But don't worry, we're not, uh, we're not ready to start carving yet anyway. Take a flat spot off the forehead here. Forehead is basically three, three planes with the front flat and two sides. All right, but not happy with the depth of this nose yet. So I'm going to dig that a little bit deeper. Same thing again. I'm going to come up into that eye socket and then straight down. And over. Down and over. Alright. Now let's lose some of this cheek meat here. As you can see I can take some more bark off the sides. The bark, this wood is uh, fairly green but it's okay that bark should suck up to the uh suck tight i should say to the uh the wood when it dries or as it dries bring that nose to a bit of a point all right all right i'll just do a little bit of a clean up here Okay, that looks fairly rough, but we'll get her done. All right, that's where we're at. profile. Our cheeks are a little bit uh, not even, so we'll even out the cheeks. But, there we go. Okay, so let's take our gouge again. Let's just kind of make a little forehead. It's not really going to be the forehead, it's just going to be the top of the, the carving. There's going to be hair below it. All right. Come around. Pencil, 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 pencil. We're gonna have a big mustache coming off of here. That's not even there. A stick is fun because you gotta keep finding the the same on each side. There we go. 
That feels better. See how we're almost into the, uh, actually we are right into that eye socket. So let's do that again. That's what it is, just the repetitive over and over again till we're happy with our, our depth, all right? Like I was saying, our mustache is going to be over here, but let's just make a little, uh, figure out our, our nose size. We're not going to get too carried away with the, uh, with the, uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> what is he saying? We're not going to get too carried away with the nostrils and whatnot. It's going to take a little three-quarter cut across here. That sets in that nose like that. So all I'm doing is I'm going to go one straight cut here. One angle cut here, all straight in too for now. And then the bottom of the nose. Right. I'm going to come across and take that out. Okay, now we've got our, that nose is set in there pretty good. All right. Soften that little top brow a little bit more. Both sides. This guy, he's going to have a birthmark on that. <laughs> brow there but that's good that's some character all right there's our uh, again we'll keep checking the profile looking looking okay so I just kind of scoop that in there I'm gonna leave a little bit of meat for some eyelids right. but before we get too far again like I always do I take that around I want to thin the temple area, all right? So I'm gonna take my gouge, just come up each side. All right, just like so. See how that's come in like that? Soften that up. Sharp corner up and down. All right, I'm happy with that. Now, let's just go right right out the eyes. We need the uh, some more depth here. Let's just say, see that? I'm going to take this little uh, little veiner tool. That's a, a three millimeter doesn't matter what size you got and we're just gonna dig that in there and we're gonna get that little inside a little bit deeper now being a stick we already have the angle going out so I can just soften that line again but if it was flat you'd want to do the same thing on the other side Just so that we can see that eyeball when we look on the side, right? But we can do a little bit more. Right? When the wood is green like this too, it's kind of fun to uh, as we're carving, you can tell that the wood is kind of, I don't know if it's oxidizing or what you call it, but uh, it turns yellow. All right. There's our eye. We're going to make an eye line. Same on both sides. Or not. <laughs> Determine the size of our eye. You don't have to get too fussy. As long as it's a uh, Pretty much the same size, and you can see that one going the wrong way. This pencil is fantastic, by the way, too. This is a Veritas, but it's in the word is indelible. You read that? Indelible. You can write on top of green wood. In fact, it shines on on green wood. So I'm going to. Uh, okay, okay, Doug, relax. Let's draw an eyeball. A 
I haven't filmed for a while. I get all flustered and in a hurry. All right. These corners here, I'm just going to go straight in. Like so. I'm going to take that corner tip out. Yeah. Same on this side. Alright. There we go. Big, big chips out of there. The greener the wood, there's less chance also of uh, chipping because it's, like I said, green wood. It doesn't really want to chip. Okay, see I got chips out of both sides. And now all I'm going to do is join those lines across. And take out the top. Take out the bottom. Pretty simple. I think what I'm going to do though is I think I'm going to go and wash those pencil marks off for you. All right, now we can see when I get to the the eyebrows. Okay. Forget to drink my coffee too. It's going to get cold. So we got our eyes cleaned up a little bit. All right. So now we're going to take our V tool, small V tool. We're going to come around just above the eye. All right. What do I got here? I'll take a small one. This is a 12-2. Don't get caught up on the uh, file tools that I'm using. I don't recommend the medium-sized tools for remote. The palm tools are great. So I'm putting a little cut straight into here. And hopefully, if I just ride this around, it's going to stop there. All right. Like that. And come out the other way. Follow that around. Bring it out. All right. So now, with one swoop, got a nice, nice eyelid. Same thing on this side, just above the eyelid. Don't get too close. Don't get a little wafer thin. All right. So look at them. So that one's got a little bit more eyelid. So I'll go a little bit, a little bit deeper on this one. Looks good. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to follow that top eyelid. I'm just going to make a little cut here. All right. Same on this side. Just where that eye comes through. And watch this. I'm going to take my little V tool and come under the eye right into that cut and stop. See how it stops there? Finish it up. This side. Okay. Start on this side. Just giving that little lower eye bag. We'll stop right there. See that? So this one passes over top. But now we can just take a little bit off that so that it goes into it. See that? Alright. Get that pencil line. Get these pencil lines out of here. Alright. Same thing here. It's going to make that a little bit, a little bit, goes into it. Alright. Now, just to give it some more depth, I'm going to do the same thing here. Just a little three corner cut. One there, one there. And take that little chip out of there just to give a little shadow underneath there. Alright. I'll stick my knife in here. Knife in here. And pop that little chip out of there. Give it some good depth. Okay, I'm happy with that. We can play with the uh, the cheeks and the, the eye bag after. But for now, let's set in the uh, hair. I want to uh, give him a little bit of forehead. 
Let's give him a little V. Bring his hair around here. A little part in the middle. Come around. You can see already get more more barks gotta go. Sometimes it's nice too to have a, a secondary knife to be tuned on the bark just so you don't uh, dull your, your good carving knife. But I'll take a little V tool here. It's a bigger one, I guess it is. This is a 14.6. Right. I come fairly close to the, uh, whoops, sorry. Sorry to the camera. I'm going to bring that forehead into that because the forehead needs to come back. Number nine here. Just pop up between the eyes. Right. Create a little bit of a area for the, the eyebrows. Yeah. Now I can soften those eyebrows, but I can also go up into the hair. We don't want them. If we have two sharp eyebrows, it's going to look a little bit mean. We'll keep softening them up a little bit, but... Okay. That's where we're at with that. We can take that V-tool again. I'm going to come up in here. Digging right in there. Alright, backup tools. Of course, the part doesn't go up, so we're going to cut this little piece of pie out of here so that we can get it back. Where's the V-tool? Hey, V-tool. Depth on a stick is your friend, too. It's always good if you can get that stick in there. Seventies center part. <laughs> All right, now I want to thin this out too, just a little bit more on the sides of the temple. There we go. When in doubt, just look at both sides and I'll get there. There. 
like that. That uh, that uh, little streak of wood there is throwing me off a bit. But... All right, let's leave that hair for now so we can figure out the mustache so we can join the hair into the the mustache let's go with the big big mustache right. they always tend to get bigger than the, than the plan that's okay we got a whole stick and then you can cut the stick anywhere you want to cut the stick right so it's not like you're confined to a block of wood. That's what's fun about a stick. All right. All right, let's get our knife out. Get that roughed in. I got big... I keep hitting the camera, but... Big B cut. Right. Let's get that mustache really set in deep. Okay. Follow the outside here. Bring that down both ways. One straight cut. I'll come back on this side, follow it around, give a nice sharp, I'll show you again, I'm going to run that straight in around there, all right, I'll just do a V cut on that side, a V cut on this side, Now, always looking at it, always cleaning it up a bit. We can uh, set the beard into the mustache. All right. I used to. The biggest mistake I used to make is the start the the beard. Oh my goodness, my dog just ran under my legs and scared me. <laughs> the biggest mistake I used to always make was make the beard sides way up here. But if we give them a little, a little bit like that. That's more more realistic with the uh, more cheek and the mustache coming down. All right, but for now we're just going to put a little V cut there. I don't know what that noise is. Some truck tractor. Let's be a tractor. Okay, see that? We just put a little V cut in there. And now I'm going to go up this way again. I want to knock the bottom of that point off that cheek. Like that. Picking that bottom off the cheek. Look at that. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit of an exaggerated cheek, but that's what we want. More shadows. Good grief. Let's look at our profile again. See how we can, uh, on the side, eyeball is always in sight from a side view. Okay, now we've got a nice, nice big cheek there. So now our hair is going to come from here. And now we can just kind of flare it out. See that? So again, a little bit more bark off. I'm always thinning that temple area. I probably have to uh, fine tune that again, but. All right. Now we can round that a bit.
Now, obviously, we're gonna have to let's put a little mouth in there. We don't have to get too detailed. Remember, this is a this is campfire carving. This is carving a stick, so we're not gonna get super detailed. But cut under there. Like that. Another one here. Look at that. We got a mouth, just like that. I want that beard a little bit lower. I like how the, uh, I like the mustache kind of just flowing into it. I used to always make big sharp points, but now it just kind of blends with the beard. Exaggerated cheek there. <laughs> Do it again here. Let's bring it in a little bit. Just bring it in a little bit. All right. Point off the nose. Look at that guy. Look at him. Alright, let's uh, take all these harsh edges off. We can spend a lot of time fiddling and adding lots of little details and whatnot, but I think for your basic guy here, I'm going to, uh, give me a minute, I'm going to dig this out. I probably won't do that. Oh, what the heck. I want to dig that out a little bit more. My V-tool. To give a nice clean edge on the top. Try and cut that in there. Just to give a definitive top of the hair. Like I said too, see how that part is still going up? I want to get that flat. Get that part flat. Come on, there we go. There we go. Cutting under that hair, so we get a little bit of a, a flow going. Hit the camera. <laughs> Good morning, chicken.
<laughs> you want to say good morning to the chickens? Here. That's where we're at. Let's go say hi to the chicken. You guys are being very, very noisy. Good morning. <laughs> That's where I'm sitting right there. <laughs> All right, go ahead for a minute. All right, where were we? This is our uh, our fella here. So we have a distinctive hair. We could probably do a little bit more. Kind of separating the longer hair into the beard. Right. Now we can see a line there. This one's this one's better. Okay. We got her mouth, eyebrows, eyelids. Okay. So if we made the the face a little bit narrower and smaller, we would have had more hair flowing on the side. But that's okay. It don't matter. And uh, what can we do? So if we really wanted to, we could take a small. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Take a small. This is number nine gouge. Give him a little ridge. A little ridge up here. Right up. Alright. Come right up in there. Around. We can do that. Take our knife and soften those edges again. A little bit of a... What else can we do? We can... Uh, if we go out of this way a little bit, we can get a little bit more... I like the bigger one. Where's the bigger one? Let's see how that takes the cheekbone out a little bit. It's coming from the side. Get a little, a little heavier cheekbone. do that. We can uh, take a little v-tool here. Give him some wrinkles. All right. Okay, going down here. All right, we can do that. We can give him a bigger eye bag. Turn that around. Give him some bags under his eyes. All right. All right. We're gonna take that edge off there to make it like a saggy bag. Alright. We can do that. We can give him a, what else can we do? Give him a big random wrinkle on the top. Okay. Now, okay. Let's say we're not gonna paint him. We're, we're out in the bush. We don't have our paints with them, with us. If we go, we always want to uh, give our guys some action. So we'll make them looking off the side, but by cutting a really deep, chip here. See how that gives the, uh, looks like he's looking that way. Do the same thing in here. And that way there's no paint. We can just leave it to, uh, leave it to the weather or stain or whatever we want. But a nice, very deep chip. When you're looking at it, you're like, that doesn't look normal. But when you look at it from a distance, and they, now, now you can see he's looking that way. I can even go a little bit deeper on this one. There we go. Look at that. He's totally looking that way now, and there's no paint or nothing. Now we'll take our little uh, gouge. Give him some uh, some hair. 
let me just start this and then I'll finish it off camera. But all I'm going to do is uh, just dig that gouge in. Remember, no straight lines. I'm not going to do really fine hairs here. I'm just going to uh, keep keep the hair fairly fairly big. So let me just run around with this. I'll give them some eyebrows. I'll go wash them up, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. But there you go. Back in a flash. All right, here is our little man, all finished up, washed up. See, I didn't go too crazy with the hair. Like, you could do a lot finer details with the hair, but I just did some, some big gouge marks. But, uh, yeah, I like him. Very simple, easy little carve once you get on to it. But number nine gouge is your friend. And uh, pretty much that's it with a little veiner or a little V-tool. But you don't need a lot of tools to do him. And like I said, this is a step up from my uh, five-minute wizard video. And, uh, yeah, there's a profile. Eyes, you can always see the eyeball from the side if you remember that. Temples are thin, thin up the temples, and uh, Bob's your uncle. So, there you go. Sun's coming up. Time to get on with our day. But, uh, hope you like it, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.